Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video of what my workout room looks like. It's just a small bedroom and um, just want to let you know that you don't have to spend a lot of money to actually have a decent amount of equipment. And I'll start with my treadmill, which is actually out in the hallway behind me. Just a moment and I'll show you that. So there's my treadmill. It's a little fold up one and it's just out in the hallway. There's a bathroom at the end of this hall we don't use because it's just at the end of the hallway. So I've got a treadmill there. I think it was a couple hundred dollars on um, Amazon. I'll link everything below that I've actually purchased from Amazon and some stuff is just similar to the other items that I've purchased. A really good place to get some stuff is Walmart and Five Below. So these 20 pound dumbbells I actually just got from Amazon. Um, that was actually the cheapest place I could find dumbbells um they can be pricey i think i spent 52 or 53 dollars for two of them and then my 15 pounders i actually got at walmart i think they were 22 dollars a piece but they came with this metal that's really aggressive so i took this baseball bat wrap and put around it and that works really good if you end up with some of those like you find some used ones or something you can put that stuff around it and it'll keep you from tearing your hands up. These little two pounders, I don't even know where I got them from, but they've got like a mesh foam. You can put your hand in there. So if you just want to add a little bit with what you're picking up at the time, I've been doing that for a while and that definitely helps out. You can add some weight that way pretty easily. Um, I got these 10 pounders from Goodwill, believe it or not, they were only five bucks. Very good deal there um uh, have to have a fan in here obviously you guys know how to pick up a fan <laughs> excuse the storage that is also in here <laughs> uh, but the mat excuse my toes i gotta do my nails here the rubber mat flooring i love it because I, I lift barefooted and i really enjoy this mat you can find it just about anywhere there's a four piece square section i got from Target. I'm pretty sure it was 20 bucks for four. I actually got two sets because I, I really needed more than just four. I got this step from Goodwill for five dollars. Um, I've got some medicine balls down there, eight pound and ten pound medicine balls that I got from Five Below. Some uh, booty bands as they call them from Five Below. I've got these little extra weights here. If you want to add weight onto um, your barbell and you don't want to add five to ten pounds at a time um, on each side you can get these little two and a half plates I've got actually four so you can put one on each side and add five pounds or you know however you want to do it you can add weight easily that way and you don't have to worry about adding too much at once and I think it was fourteen dollars for four on Amazon uh, sorry, that was my water bottle cracking. <laughs> it scared me. Um, I got eight pound uh, kettlebells. Those were also from Five Below. I had a bunch of stuff from Five Below. So since I don't have a lot of space, you guys see it's a very small bedroom. Okay. Um, this is actually two separate pieces here. This is a squat rack. I knew I needed some type of rack to hold my barbell. For when I wanted to do my squats and do hip thrusts and stuff like that. I wanted something to put it on. And this set here was on Amazon. I'll link it also. I think it was like 80 bucks. It's adjustable. It goes up to like six feet, which is way taller than me. So that worked out really well. Uh, the bench here. So you can do, uh, it's got an actual rack at the top, so you can lift on the bench. It's actually got a piece that also attaches to the bottom for legs. Um, but I'm not using that part right now, so I just put it out of the way. I paid, I almost can't even remember now because I've been using this stuff for a few months. Um, the bench and the weight set, which is the barbell with 100 pounds worth of weight and it also came with two dumbbell handles um, the barbell with the dumbbell handles and the weight and the rack here 
um, bench, I paid less than $300 for all of it because I bought both that at the same time. Um, this little kickboxing thing, I'll put that on there. I mainly use that to put my bands around for resistance when I need something to hold on to with that. Um, I think it was less than $200. I bought that a couple years ago. It's been used periodically, but I don't use it a whole lot. It's probably my least used item. And then I've got all these bands that are hanging up. That one's from Five Below. And then this three-piece set of the three colors here, um, you can remove the handles and do the different colors for different weights. Uh, I think it's um, a medium, a heavy, and an ultra heavy. I'm sorry, I just got done doing my workout. I feel like I should have waited and took a break first. <laughs> but I bought um, that in a three-piece set. I think that was at Target for like 15 or 20 bucks. So, I mean, honestly, I've got a mirror in here. I just got this in today. This is from um, one of those groups I was talking about that has like free workouts and great tips. It's called uh, Women Who Lift Weights. And they had this American one on sale. It was a 50 by 60. And they had like a sale going the other day. I think I spent $25 on it plus the shipping. I mean, for something that big, I was like, I gotta have something in here that's gonna you know, pump me up when I look at it, you know, and it's a, it's a woman with a barbell and you got American colors and stripes and stars behind her. And I'm just like, that's perfect. That works. So basically this is my setup guys. It's not a lot. Um, you don't need a lot. If you have a garage where you have more room, you could get a different type of squat rack. Um, where you don't have to have two different pieces, but this is convenient for me. So when I want to use the squat rack, I pull the pieces out and set it up. I use it. I put it back. It takes an extra couple of minutes every workout. It's not that bad, honestly. So, and then for my little covering on this little dresser table here in nightstand or whatever you want to call it, it's just a piece of that yoga mat. I cut off and put there so I wouldn't destroy the table even though it's an old one um but really it's not a lot I mean for less than I want to say less than four hundred dollars you can pretty much have just about everything you need the only thing that's going to change is I'm going to start needing because right now I'm deadlifting and squatting 70 pounds and I've got 30 extra pounds left to add to it before I'm out of weight. So I'm going to have to start adding plates. Check Walmart. Again, they have a lot of stuff. I really didn't realize how much they had until I went there one day and saw all the stuff that they have. They have extra plates you can add. and But I have found a lot of the best deals are on Amazon. So, uh, and then the other thing with weight is you're going to keep adding to your dumbbells. So... At this point, I just purchased the 20s, but it probably won't be much longer before I'll need some 25s. The good thing is I do have the little dumbbell handles that I can put with the two 10-pounders there and my two and a halfs, and I can make 25 until I get to that point where I can go get some more dumbbells. I would say though probably they're the most expensive item is dumbbells. I mean, $25 to $40 a piece is crazy, you know? But don't forget, don't skip out on your Goodwill and all your little resale shops because you can find some stuff. I have several things in here. I wanted to add, add one more thing, um, or two more things actually to my list. They're going to be at the bottom, but there's this, this pad here that wraps around the bar that helps a ton with your neck and your shoulders and stuff like that so you're not like having that hard bar back there it feels so much better and then these little clips on the end they're so much better than what comes with it what comes with it's like almost like those grip clamps and they're very hard to open but these I got on Amazon as well and they're amazing they slide on clamp down make it a million times easier to take the plates on and off but I realized that I forgot to talk about those and I really grateful that I got both of them that Matt the pad actually I ended up getting from Walmart it was like eight bucks but you can get them anywhere so there's that stuff but I do have a lot of stuff that I've got from Goodwill and I check yard sales that's another thing if you like yard sales like me I love a bargain so I'm always hunting for a bargain 
And before I ever go buy anything that I need extra, I always look online first to see if I can find a good deal on something. If somebody's got a sale going on. Um, but right now I've got stuff saved in my Amazon stuff because I hate it. But it seems to be the cheapest way to get stuff these days. So um, thanks again for tuning in. Sorry it was a kind of windy uh <laughs> brief little uh, explanation of everything that I've got. But like I said, it's not a lot. You don't have to spend a lot. And even if you don't have the money to just go out and get yourself the weight set or the bench, I will, I do remember this. The weight set was only 120 bucks with free shipping. So that's actually a really good deal. That was the cheapest deal I could find. That's the barbell, 100 pounds worth of weight, and two dumbbell handles. I mean, you can't beat that if you're getting started, especially if you're not lifting a lot yet. It'll last you a while before you need to add more weights. So, um, and then if you can't afford to go out and buy anything, I'm sure you have backpacks laying around the house. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram that are coaches. They're like, look, go get a backpack, borrow your kid's school backpack, whatever. Go get a cheap one from Five Below, okay, and put some stuff in it and wear it and do your squats and do different exercises. Lift with the backpack. I've seen people use canned food, like big cans of food, litter containers, um, buckets, you know, whatever you can find. If you wanna get in there and you wanna get a workout done, you can find something around your house to use that will work. I just finally got to the point where I finally had an extra room. And I really hope that at some point we can get some land and I would like to have a larger designated room or a garage or some type of a space that's going to give me a lot more room than what I've got here. But for now, it works. And if this is what I have for many years to come, it works. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. I am going to try to continue to do a monthly update since I've been doing my own workouts right now. It's been, this is my second week. No, this is the beginning of my third week because it's Monday. The beginning of my third week since I finished with my coach. My first week, I did basically a repeat of his exercises. And then last week and this week, I've started some more that I actually got from the Women Who Lift Weights workout stuff that they have. And I'll link all that below too, or I linked it on my last one actually, but um, I'll double check and I might be able to link that again if I can remember. <laughs> um, but I'll try to continue to do an update once a month to let you guys know how it's going since I've been doing on my own. And I've got another, after this week, one more week will be a month and I'll be able to, I'm gonna weigh in and take measurements and all that stuff. And at some point I need to do a video or at the end of one of my update videos, I need to post some pictures like the before and ending of when I started, uh, when I ended with my coach, you know, and then so on. So we'll get to that at some point too, I'm sure. But now I'm rambling. So see you guys.